WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 2 p.m. Eastern time on Friday, two hours left to go in the trading day. And we got markets in positive territory right now. S&P's up 15 points. That'll be a record close, currently trading 31.12. NASDAQ up 40, excuse me, 51 points now, trading 85.30. Dow Jones up 135 points, 27,917. We got two hours to possibly get a 28,000 print in the Dow. Gold contract right now, negative $5 at 1468. We've got silver, negative eight cents at 1694. And the oil contract catching a bid up 95 cents at 5772. We'll start things off. Let's jump over to the charts. We'll start it off with the indices. Dow Jones just off the highs. This the futures market currently trading 27,889. We're only about 15 and 20 points off that high that we made just the last couple hours. NASDAQ 100 trading at 8309 making a high just after 11 a.m. of 83.21. S&P 500 currently trading 31.12, made the high 31.15, quite a number in the S&Ps. That's an all-time high, folks. Crude oil market, talk about catching a bid. Early this morning, trading at $56.44. We almost make it up to $58, $57.95 in the price of December crude, currently trading at $57.73. The gold contract oscillating a bit today, almost made it to 1470, currently trading at 1467, and the euro US dollar trading at 11053. In terms of fundamental news out there, we got retail sales early this morning. Come on, we're going to load maybe for the month of October, rising 0.3% last month. That comes after September's 0.3% drop, pretty much in line, a little bit above expectations. And in terms of movers and shakers in the market, how about JCPenney? Up 8% today, but pairing some of those gains. We were up as high as almost a buck 37 at one point. And Berkshire Hathaway taking a position in restoration hardware, up more than 8% on the heels of that news. And jumping over, pretty interesting to keep your eye on, Walmart. So Walmart came out with their earnings a couple days ago, spiked to 125, couldn't hold those gains yesterday. Actually finished in the red yesterday after trading up to 125.69. Walmart down another 1.1% today, but Target catching a bid up 2% today. Been at 113.41 after trading positive yesterday. Stay tuned, folks. We got our man Dave White coming up live right now with the Power Trading Hour. Tom O'Brien wraps up the trading week live at 3 o'clock. Markets in record territory. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back.